How a car differential works? At first it seems most logical to connect both rear wheels to a solid shaft for more traction. But it happens that if you have to make a very sharp turn, one of the wheels drags on the ground and the other skids without moving forward, thereby causing unnecessary tire wear. To correct this situation, you have to do something dramatic. Cut the shaft in half so that each wheel can turn at different speed while both wheels continue to provide traction. Two gears with 90 degree engagement are then placed at the end of each shaft. Coupled to those gears, two similar gears are arranged but in a horizontal plane and they are called satellites. The satellites are free to turn on a steel bar. This steel bar is mounted on a pair of metal parts and a sleeve is placed around one of the shafts with a large gear on it, which is directly driven by the vehicle's transmission. Thus, as the engine driven gear rotates, it carries around the metal parts holding the satellite gears and thereby drags satellites in a translational motion around the shaft's gears. Let's try to visualize this as if we had an ideal strobo light that could freeze the translational motion of the satellites, allowing us to concentrate only on the rotation of the gears on their own axis. As an additional visual aid, parts not rotating are shown in red, slower moving parts are shown in yellow, and faster moving parts are shown in green. The black arrows indicate the direction and speed of gear motion. Suppose the vehicle travels in a straight line towards you, and the satellites do not rotate on their axis, but they orbit around the gears mounted on the arrows, thus dragging and rotating them. By this action, both the left and right wheels rotate at the same speed, as if they were attached to a solid shaft. When the vehicle makes a turn, the wheel on the inner side of the curve is forced to turn more slowly since the distance it has to travel is shorter. Suppose the left wheel is forced to turn slowly. This causes the satellite gears to rotate and roll over the gear attached to the left wheel, thereby causing the right wheel to rotate faster. Now imagine you have to make a right turn, in this case, the right wheel is forced to turn more slowly. The same thing happens as in the previous case, except that now the satellites roll over the gear that is coupled to the right wheel, thus forcing the left wheel to move faster. This system has been very successful due to its simple operation and is currently used in most vehicles. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Chavatarin.